The Form Builder module is another one of my favorite modules because it's so powerful. Um, I'll give you a bit of insight into what it can do. Um, firstly, you can create your own forms. So you can have a brief description first. You can add as many fields as you want, such as name or a text box like this for the address, telephone numbers. You can do radio buttons like these, check boxes. It can even accept credit card payments. So though it's not an online shop that sends receipts and people can save their data and so forth, if you just want to sell one or two products or get donations for your for your organization, this is an excellent tool and people can just either pay by bank transfer or pay by credit card using the PayPal system. So that's one example of a form. I'll show you another form that we've created using it. Remember, you can create as many forms as you want. So this is one that we use when we're interviewing clients just to collect all of their information. So you see how big it is. You can also do surveys with it. Um, we also use it for internal processes such as staff leave requests. Again, until you start using it, you don't, know, you don't actually realize how powerful it is. And that's why I love it so much. Um, because I'm logged in, I can see these things here. So I can see the form results. And that's basically all the stuff that's been submitted. So it records everything. So as you see, there's been 169 forms submitted. And there's, there's a copy of them all there for as long as your website's going. I'll show you something else that's really cool. Um, I can download them as a Word document, or I can even have a look at um, all of that data as an Excel spreadsheet. So watch what happens when I click that. I can now download it. So everything that's been submitted to in that form, I can now put into a spreadsheet and start calculating it, such as you know identifying who actually became clients to calculate how much money we've made through doing through using that form. It's a great tool. And then you can also publish it as a PDF if you want. So just go back a little bit further and show you the insides. Whoops. Go in here. So that was sort of the form results. We can just have a look at some quick stats here that it does. It's not actually that relative to our field. Um, I'm sorry, to our form. The example is if you were doing a, um, a survey, then you could ask questions and this would automatically tally them all up for you. And finally, if I go back into edit the form, this is what you see in the back end. So you can create different categories for forms. This is where you create your forms. And this is just general preferences. So I'll just show you what one of the forms looks like. So I'll choose an existing form. Here's a nice basic one. Target stage complete. That's what we call it. So we want the form name. There it is. This is just an internal form that we use. Um, it's going to mail to support at Spinning Planet. The reply is that. And these are the different form fields. So we've got a drop down, chooses the staff member, client name, you can write it in there and you see all these different types of forms, uh, input fields, and you can just add as many of those as you like. And then you can also email messages, such as if somebody um, completed a form on your website and put their email in there, you can give them a default thank you message. And there's the payment section if you want to add pay payment to your forms. Again, a really powerful tool um, that a lot of people don't realize just how powerful it is. But um, once you start using this, you'll love it. Trust me.